used to give a fuck. Now I give a fuck less. Bitch, I've been the man since I jumped off the porch step. Niggas moving weight. Man, I'm on my fourth rep. Niggas said they ballin', but they ain't on the court yet. I'm feeling still. Yo, 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 yo. What up, man? It's your boy IQ, man. Straight of that dose, sicko dose, baby. Yeah. Y'all already know what the fuck going on, man. So, uh... I wanted to do this video, man. And, uh, I kind of want to speak on... You know... A little something different, man. Before I get into the whole... Where I think Cam Newton is going and all that, you know. Uh, you can see... You know, some of y'all that don't know nothing about that, man. That's above the rim, man. That's a classic. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. Um, oh, yeah, it's a boy Biggie, man. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, <clears throat> I really wanted to touch on this because as a, as a black man, here, we already got to deal with all different types of stereotypes. Um, a lot of people look at us as thugs and, you know, all different kind of categories that people want to put us in. It don't help when we do stupid shit, especially when you're in a position of power or if you're in a position of success, Right? So for me, if you make it to the NFL, I don't care if you're a six-round pick, seven-round pick, you deserve respect. That's that's a level of success that only like 1% of people in the world get to obtain, right? So when you have this success, why would you revert back and try to do some street shit? Or revert back and try to do do some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't understand that shit. People who know me know where I'm from, know how I came up, and know that I changed a lot about myself. It's still in me. But, it's all about growth. It's all about change. You know? So, for people who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the situation that happened with DeAndre Baker and Quentin Dunbar. Now, for those who don't know who these two brothers are, DeAndre Baker was a first-round pick out of Georgia and went to the New York Giants. A first-round pick. All right. Quentin Dunbar was a cornerback for the Washington Redskins who just recently got traded to the Seattle Seahawks. These two brothers was at a cookout. I guess there was an argument or something that happened and guns got pulled out and they started robbing people for their jewelry. Watches and they took some money and you know. I don't understand that. Why are you in the NFL robbing people? Then it said that they had lost some money gambling like $70,000 gambling like when you got to 20000 like, what was you thinking? Like, keep going? Like, I don't understand that. But how can you be in the NFL, reach that level of success, and the, and the, one, of the, one of the first things you want to do is rob somebody, pull out guns, and rob, like, do, do you, you don't think these people know who you are, man? Like, where are you going to hide it? What you going to do now? Are you, what, what do you? What is your family? What is your mama thinking? What is your family thinking? God forbid. I don't know. I don't know if they got children or not. But if they got children, then you just let down everybody in your family over some stupid shit. Stuff like that really, really irks me. You know what I'm saying? Like these dudes, millionaires, running around here trying to do street shit. When you reach that level of success, man, you have to, you got to let that shit go. Mind you, these dudes is probably from the streets. 
So because they play football, it don't mean that they not from the streets. The majority of the people in the NFL are from nothing. They're from the streets. They're from the hood. And when you reach that level of success, you got to move different. You got to think different. Right? Um, these two dudes got, like, all different kind of charges. And the mere fact they're in the NFL, you know, when they go stand in front of a judge, I'm pretty sure the judge is going to say, what the fuck? What were you doing? What were you thinking? When you pulled out that gun, what was going through your mind? Because once you pull it out, it's, it's over with. It's over with. I don't understand, man. I just feel like we got to do a better job as a people. You know, and I blame them 100%. Don't get me wrong. But I blame more so the people around them. The old heads that's supposed to be around them. You know. Luckily for me, to keep me from doing something stupid, I got people around me. It's certain people that I, I can call, that I can reach out to. Say, hey man. You know, tell them my situation. Just vent. Excuse me. And just get it over with. So I really blame the elders, the elder statesmen. You know, old heads or OGs, whatever you want to call them. For shit like this. Because these, and these dudes is young, man. DeAndre Baker was drafted in 2018 or 2019. He was a first-round pick, yo, out of Georgia. He went to Georgia. That's the SEC school. Went to the New York Giants, a story franchise. Starting corner. First-round pick. Quinn Dunbar was getting ready to have a new, whole new beginning in Seattle. Seattle's always in the playoffs. What are y'all thinking? At a cookout? I mean, what? What? I don't know, man. I, I, it's so stereotypical. We had a cookout. Black people love to have a cookout. So now we had a cookout. Argument go down. And people getting robbed. For they watches. Rolexes. And one dude had a fake uh, Richard Miller. Whatever. Watch. Whatever the fuck. Come on, man. Really? They stole like $12,000. We got to do better, man. And, you know, I don't understand what the mentality is of somebody that young just willing to throw away his whole fucking career over five minutes of street shit. It's not worth it, yo. It's not. Now, we get on here. I get on here. We talk about football or whatever, you know. But beyond that, these are young men underneath these helmets. They're people. They're human beings. They're human beings, yo. They're not robots. They're human beings. But at the same time, man, you got to you gotta think different when you're on that level, man. You can't be doing the same things you used to do in college, same things you used to do in high school when you was running the streets. You want to, you in a different tax bracket. If you got to let some of your old friends go, then that's what you got to do. But what you can't do is do some stupid shit like that. You just threw your whole career away. You just threw your whole career away. It's sad, man. It's really sad. This dude was a starting corner for the New York football giants. And he wanted to rob somebody at a fucking cookout. Sad, yo. It's really sad. But, uh, I'm going to take this one for them. Stupid man. Oh yeah, got some new tables, man. Y'all like my tables? <laughs> yeah, 
anyway, moving forward, man. A lot of people been asking me. Oh yeah, one one more thing. In my last video, I said that we was going to Vegas. When actually Vegas is coming, well, yeah, Vegas is coming here. The Raiders is coming here. So that was my mistake. And somebody commented and told me that. And I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate the feedback. 100%. Um, also, there was somebody that commented all the way from Australia. I think his name was Sam. Shout out to Sam, man. I appreciate the love. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we're on a small platform right now, but my platform will be growing. I got some shit in the works, and this shit will be growing. Trust me. Sometimes you just got to put your money up and put your money on yourself and bet on yourself. You know what I'm saying? So this shit will be growing. Trust me. But anyway, a lot of people been asking me, where, why Cam ain't been signed, and where is Cam going? this up right quick okay here's my take Cam Newton has not been signed because teams don't know if he's healthy or not I don't care how many Instagram videos he put up of him working out He's not in football pads, and teams are not going to just look at his Instagram and say, oh, well, Cam's working out. He's healthy. Let me give him $20 million. That's not how this works, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. That's not how this works. Why did James Winston get signed before Cam? Because he's healthy. Why did Andy Dalton get signed before Cam? Because he's healthy. It's not hard. It's not, it has... He... People, some people say Cam's being blackballed. Maybe that's true to a certain extent. But it also has to do with health. Teams are not able right now to bring anybody in to do workouts because of this quarantine situation. Right? Nobody's going to just assume he's healthy. That's one reason. Another reason is when you, if you sign Cam Newton to your team, and you already have a starting quarterback. That instantly puts put that starting quarterback on notice. Because Cam Newton, in my opinion, is a top seven, top ten quarterback. People say, oh, he's inaccurate and all this, that, and third. You can say that all you want to. But the last time Cam Newton was healthy on a football field, he was completing almost 70% of his passes. That's a fact. 12 touchdowns and 4 interceptions. That's a fact. So how are you inaccurate if you're doing that? He does have some aggressive problems. Trust me, I know. I watch every snap. I know. But every quarterback does. Right? For example, for Cam Newton's career, he's completing about, almost, we'll, we'll give him 60%. He's like, he had like 58.9 or something like that. But we'll just round it up to 60. Right? For his career. And people look at that and say, oh, well, you're inaccurate. Well, my brother, shout out to Cole, pointed this out to me. This is this is this is this is a huge fact. Dan Marino, for his career, completed 60% of his passes. 60. Nobody called him inaccurate. Same thing with Andrew Luck. Nobody called him inaccurate. Now you tell me, you marinate on that for a second. Dan Marino, 60%. Nobody said a word. So, for all his deficiencies, he makes up for it with his athletic ability. So if I'm a team, I'm going to need a dough. Can he run? Because that, I mean, that's a part of his game. That's what make him damn near unguardable. When Cam Newton is on, he can't be stopped. He's shown that. There's no, there's no defense in the world that can stop a hot Cam Newton. 
It doesn't exist. He's too big, too fast, and his arm is, he, he can throw it anywhere on the field. But if he's hindered in any way, that is going to limit his abilities somewhere. It's like if you got a horse, right? Let's say you got Sagittarius, right? But Sagittarius got a broke ankle or something. You know what I'm saying? That's how the, that's how the teams are looking at Cam. Like, yeah, he's a horse. But if you take away his ability to run, he's limited. Right? So... To me, that's one of the main reasons why Cam Newton is not signed. Do I think he'll get signed? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's not, I mean, he's going to get signed, man. When people try to hold that against me, like, oh yeah, your boy ain't been signed yet. Da, 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 da. No matter where Cam Newton go, I'm going to be rooting for him. I'm going to buy his jersey. Wherever he go, I'm going to buy that jersey. You know what I'm saying? Because not only for what he did for Carolina, because he put us on the map. He really did. I mean... He came here, he had the whole world dabbing. MVP, took us to a Super Bowl. Number one overall pick, rookie of the year, offensive player of the year. Like, he came in and put Carolina on the map. And the way that they did him, the way that they, you know, said that, oh, yeah, he's going to be the guy. And then they turned around and it was like, oh, no, we're going to, you know, let him, we're going to try to get a trade for him. And then they cut him. Like, if they would have cut him a long time ago, he would have been signed. He'd have been signed already. But they waited for some reason. And to me, that was fucked up. Hands down. But Cam just signed. Now, where do I think he would fit best? Where do I think he should go? I think he should go to the Patriots. That's just my opinion. Patriots. I even said Jacksonville. I thought Jacksonville would be a good fit. Now I'm here in Tampa. I'm here. He could go to Tampa and sit behind Brady. He said he don't mind being in the backup. Brady ain't going to be there long. He got all the weapons he need. He got a good coach, an offensive coach. And then he get to play the Panthers twice. I don't want him to go to Tampa. Better fucking go believe that shit. I do not want him to go to Tampa. Lord knows. Lord, please. Lord Jesus Christ. If you listen, don't send one to Tampa. Please. I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see Cam twice a year. That's just me. That's just me. But uh, he'll get signed, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's all, it's all politics. It's all business. You know, if you were owner, or let's say if you were GM, you're not going to just sign a dude that's coming off two major injuries. One to the foot, one to the shoulder. Now, his shoulder should be healed by now. But you're going to want to see it for yourself, right? I mean, you're going to go to no car lot and just buy a car and you don't drive it. Right? That's not smart. You got to test drive it. Make sure it's okay. That's all this is. If this COVID-19 stuff wasn't going around, Cam would be signed by now. Because teams will bring him in, let him work out. They'll see him. He always in tip-top shape. Always. They would have gave him a physical. And they had signed him. It's that simple. But he will get he will get signed. He will get a deal. Let's stop worrying about that, please. Please, Cam Newton is going to get signed. He's going to get a deal. Period. In the story, you know what I'm saying, and I and I wish Cam nothing but success. I don't want to see him get blackballed like Kaepernick. I don't want to see him not being able to get a job because he he hasn't done nothing wrong. He ain't got no off the field issues. He ain't got no charges, none of that. You know, when he was here in Charlotte, he did all kind of stuff for the community. You know, he give kids footballs after every touchdown. You know they got to pay for them, right? You can't just give away a football. You got to pay for that shit. 
Every time you get a football away, you got to pay for it. I don't know if y'all knew that or not, but he paid for that. Every touchdown, they give it away. That's coming out of his pocket. That's a fact. So, um, like I said, man, I kind of wanted to touch on that subject earlier. Just so, because um, it was on my mind, you know. But this whole Cam Newton situation, like they keep talking about it on ESPN or whatever. Like, why isn't he signed? It's very simple, man. They're not going to sign him until they can bring him in, see what he can do, and then he'll get signed. All the other quarterbacks that's been signed were healthy. There were no problems. Simple. Winston took a $1 million deal or whatever he got to go to New Orleans and see it behind Drew Brees. So, Andy Dong got $7 million. I don't know how much it'll take to get Cam. But it'll probably be $10 million, something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a little bit more money. I mean, you're getting an MVP quarterback. He's just sitting out there. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, he will get a, he will get a deal. Hopefully, it's in. He might go to Indianapolis. He can go to Indianapolis, sit behind Phillip Rivers. He can go to Tampa, sit behind Brady. You know, um, I thought Chicago was in the mix somewhere, but they wouldn't have got Nick Foles. Good luck with that shit. And I think Jacksonville, Jacksonville, I, like I said, I, I, if I'm him, I guess they're going to go with Gardner Minshew. But if I'm Jacksonville, I'm like, shit, we can bring in Cam and let him compete. That's what I would do. But we'll see what happens, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. I got another video coming, man. But I just wanted to touch on that. You know what I'm saying? Because it was on my heart and it was on my mind. And um, y'all stay tuned, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to your boy, man. Because like I said, this platform is going to get big. We growing. Slowly but surely, we growing. And we going to keep growing. I'm going to keep dropping these videos. You hear me? I'm out. Bye.